Yeah, the crowd, the home, the home, the home crowd. I um, know they're going to be excited. I know they're going to be behind us. Uh, we just have to go out there and play hard and play well. Jeff and Jimmy have talked about wanting to play more freely. Uh, what's the key to doing that? And is it easier to do that at home? Uh, at times, it's, it's, it should be easy to play at home, but uh, when you play freely, you got to get out mostly in the open court, uh, just play, not really think about plays, and just believing each other, uh, pick and rolls, off the dribble stuff, different things. Yeah. You think younger guys, you know, especially when they think, okay, first playoff appearance, they, I don't know, think a little bit too much, like to maybe where it is a little more difficult to play free and maybe, I don't know, get in their heads a little bit? Uh, sometimes, sometimes, but most of the time in playoffs, it all comes down to this energy and action. Um, the game will dictate how to play, but when you got your energy and you're just going on 10 percent, diving for loose balls, setting good screens, just doing the small things, you get yourself going in, in, in other aspects of the game, and you should be fine, but your energy should always, always be on 10 percent, and um, it helps you a lot. You guys haven't exactly been an up-tempo team this year. Do you think you can kind of flip a switch and play a little faster? We've been an up-tempo team at times, but we just got to be more consistent. Uh, but at times, we just have to just we just go with the flow of the game of uh, trying to just close up our weaknesses and, and try to play through our strengths. And um, we just got to adjust, and that's what playoff basketball is about. Eighth, eighth meeting with Houston already this season, getting sick of seeing these guys. Do you expect it to be a little physical out there? Yeah, in the playoffs, you see guys on a night-to-night -night basis, so uh, you get tired of them. But um, it's exciting because you know what, what's in store for the game. You know what, what they're going to throw out there. You know what you're going to do. It's really no hiding. It's all about Imano, Imano, and just going out there and playing hard. And uh, the bright spot is that you're playing home. Uh, the home crowd is going to be behind you. Just got to go out there and play uh, tough style basketball and um, try to play hard. Are they an even better defensive team than maybe you guys thought? Everybody thinks of the Rockets, they think of the offense, but it's been their defense that's been winning them these games. Well, their defense is is extremely good. They just know how to just hide their weaknesses. They always kind of double the post, and uh, they switch mostly everything one through five, and they have, they always help side. They always know how to help each other out, but that's a veteran group. Um, it's, it's hard to be number one in the league, and uh, it, just told, it just shows you the, do, the dividends that they do every day of just getting better, but the defense is, is, is pretty good. All season long, you guys have been pretty good in the defense of the first quarter, mm -hmm. and it slipped a little after that. That's certainly been true in this series. Yeah. Why, why does that happen, do you think? I think it just comes into paying attention to the, uh, paying attention to detail, um, understanding your matchup, understanding that you really have to come in and play with a lot of energy. Um, you look at how it's, the Houston comes into the game. They come in, uh, everybody understands, even if they play five minutes, maybe ten minutes, they're going to go do the the best job they can, and I think uh, when you got a young team and it's most of the guys are still figuring out that you can't really go into the game trying to fill the game out. You have to just go in there, uh, basically just throwing blows and, and going with the consequences afterwards, then you finally get your, your rhythm. But um, we learned through it. Uh, can't, can't take back the games we lost. Just have to just get ready for the next one, stay positive, and move forward. Jeff says Carl just has to be more active, get deeper position, run the floor harder. How yeah. more difficult is that when you're going against a guy like Capella who runs like he does? Uh, Capella is he just effective and he do he plays his role. Like when you go on good teams, guys just know how to play their roles and do it to a T. And he's been doing a good job, just setting screens, rolling to the paint, uh, strong rebounding, but just knowing his defensive coverages. But uh, Cad's been doing a good job. I feel like he gets some good looks, but he just have to stay more aggressive, but do other things to get himself going. Sometimes they take away things, but they should never be able to take away your energy and your effort. And your effort. But uh, he's learning from these games. He's still he's still like 21 years old, 22 years old. So uh, we can't put too much pressure on him. Um, we understand this is a, a big step for him. We're just going to keep helping him. I'm going to keep helping him, and we've got to keep pushing forward. Jimmy has been very good defensively in the series. Do you need more out of him on the offensive end? What you say? Jimmy's been very good defensively, but do you need more out of him on the offensive end? Uh, we need to help him more on the offensive end. I think uh, he we put so much pressure on him. He has a, a really tough coverage as far as his guard and James Harden most of the time, and that's a big blow as far as energy-wise. So um, I depend, I, I expect us, including myself and some of the guys on the bench, to help him in any way we can. And uh, I'm trying to. It's a team game. We just got to do better. Why do you think the offense has been so stagnant, especially maybe in the last day? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I felt like the first quarter was great. Um, second quarter, we hit some bumps in the road, some uh, one-pass shot kind of uh, ordeals. But um, they just made us do things we didn't want to do. We we got uncomfortable. But 
um, watching film. Tonight's a new day. I look forward to just um, taking the game one play at a time, and I'm looking forward to just going out there and play hard in front of the home crowd. Because their offense from mid, <laughs> mid to late first quarter until middle of the fourth quarter, they didn't have a turnover. Is, yeah. is part of that on you guys, or is that just they're just doing a really good job taking care of the ball? Part of it is it's on us and them at the same time. They just know how to really set good screens, and everybody knows how to get into their, their position, especially on the offensive end with that team. But we got to make them uncomfortable. We got to get into the body. We have to be more aggressive on defense and uh, not let the referees dictate the game. We have to just play a lot more energy, a lot more toughness. Um, in playoff basketball, it's, it's a lot more harder. It's a lot more physical, and um, I haven't seen that from us in the last two games. You said Cats learning from these uh, games. What were the lessons from these first two games? That you have to adjust. You have to adjust. They're going to take away your strong suits. Nothing's going to be easy. Um, they're going to come at you on defense. It's different things in the game that he's seeing, and I think he's he's understanding. He's been doing a great job as far as watching film, as far as asking questions, but it's a team game. We have to help him. We have to support him. We're veterans. Um, this is his first playoffs, but I have to look at the bright side. He's still only 21. He's like 21, 22 years old. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of pressure. And I think that he's doing a great job as far as just still trying to do the right things with the team. And um, we just have to keep supporting him. And um, he has to just come out. And I'm sure he'll come out tonight and play strong. O2 can be an intimidating hole, especially for guys who haven't been through this before. Yeah. But what is the feeling right now in the locker room? Uh, get the next one. Uh, I can't worry about anything that happened in the last two games. Well, we should have won that game. Uh, just got to just focus on what's in front of you, take care of what you can control, and uh, just have fun with the game. But even more, just play hard. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, uh, we, we go out there with no regrets. Don't you went out there and play hard, gave it all you got. I can go home, sleep good at night.